The GLPI inventory alongside GLPI agents provides you, sys admin, the ability to gather and discover information from your network and remote devices using SNMP, SSH, and also WinRAM for Windows devices. The remote inventory and net discovery is especially useful for isolated networks or when you can't install a GLPI agent on every device of your network. With proper policies enabling Win or RAM on your workstations and servers, you will never miss information from within your enterprise network. And all the decisions and troubleshooting may count with updated information from your hardware and software intel. And well, in this video, I will run a task to inventory Windows devices using WinRM. Hi, and welcome back to the TechLib YouTube channel. The WinRM service makes use of shell commands running on HTTP or HTTPS for those wanting more secure connections using ports 5985 and 5986 respectively. This setup simplifies traffic management for remote tasks. If there's a firewall, for example, you can easily configure it to allow traffic through these ports. For example, in scenarios where you need to gather inventory data from Windows devices that don't have GLPI agent installed, WinRAM proves invaluable. If you are looking for remote inventory of SNMP and SSH devices, look for this video. So first of all, I will activate the WinRAM. It's always important to note that this is an example. So if you have a large installation program, you may use policies so you can activate it on all devices of your network. In this example, it will be very simple. I will set the WS man quick config, which is just a wizard that will check whether the WinRAM service is running Startup type to automatic, creates a listener to accept requests on any IP address, enables the firewall and enables Kerberos and negotiate service authentication. Provide basic authentication and allow an encrypted connection because I'm using a local network and I don't need a lot of security. I will set the service authentication basic as true, allow an encrypted so I can test it, allow an encrypted again. And then I will test the connection to this same server. Here we can see the product version OS. Also, there's another thing we must make sure that we have, which is an administrator password for this computer. In this example, I'm using a dedicated user called inventory, and I created it just for this purpose. I will get the information using this same user. This is a dedicated user, which is member of the administrators so I can get information from this computer. And right now, let's dive into the remote inventory task on our GLPI agent. Before we start on GLPI agent, you must have it already configured. And if you don't have the GLPI agent toolbox enabled, take a look at this video. Here I have a GLPI agent already configured to have the toolbox activated. Here we don't have any task, any IP ranges and any credentials. First of all, I will create my credentials. In this case, it is the inventory credential for WinRM, which is the username inventory, and also the authentication password that I've defined it before. The part will be the default one, 5985. I will not use SSL and I will not add a description, but I could. I've created the credential. I will create also a scheduling which is the definition of when this task is going to run. So in this scenario, I want it to run every 12 hours. And again, the time slot is when we want it to run every day or every Monday or every Tuesday at the same time. So we can define it here. But today I'm just using the delay and the time unit for hours. So every 12 hours, this task is going to run. We'll add it. And right now I'm coming back to IP ranges. In my scenario, I have just two Windows devices and to make it quick, I will just add the win devices. The IP range starts with 192, 168, 1.249 and it ends on 250. 
I want to associate this credential to this IP range so it's quicker if we don't have a lot of credentials at the same range. Let's imagine we don't have SSH servers here, so we are not associating the SSH credentials. So we save more time. Add IP range. And right now I'm going to create the inventory task with the information I've created before. So add new inventory. 12 hours when I'm. I want it to be a network scan because I'm scanning the whole network that I've defined it on my time range, on my IP range, and I target this to my server. If I don't have access to the server, I can do it locally and after that import it to my server. In this scenario, I'm just using the server side. Right now I'm using the delay of 12 hours. So I'm setting this one. I will create a tag here like remote video. One thread and one connection timeout. Create inventory task. Right now it is disabled. We are going to enable it. And before we run it, we are going to make sure that the GLPI inventory feature is activated on our server side. Go to administration inventory and make sure that this enable inventory is working. If we want to do a local inventory on the task and import it after that, we are going to import from file and choose the file here. But let's come back to the assets here, see if we have some, we don't. And now we are going to run the task. Let's see what the task is doing. Good. It's doing the inventory right now. And after it's done, it's going to upload it to my server. Task run in 78 seconds. So probably right now we have the computer on our server. Let's take a look at it. Here it is, the Windows device remotely inventory. Desktop, operating system, Windows 10, all the components, all the volumes. This is how you do WinRAM remote inventory on GLPI using the GLPI agent toolbox.